Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta history trivia. Brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Betty Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes, or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was, which movie based on the biography of Olive Fredrickson was filmed in part in Smith, Alberta? Was it A, Silence of the North? Or B, Where the Wind Blows? Or C, Northward Bound? And the correct answer is Silence of the North. In 1981, which is not that long ago, fil film crews gathered in the small hamlet of Smith, Alberta to produce a semi-autobiographical film of the book by Olaf Fredrickson. The film starred Ellen Bernstein as Olaf and Tom Skerrick as her first husband, Walter Reamer. They, along with the director, Alan King, were nominated for Genie Awards, and although the film was a box office flop, there still remains a cult following today. Locals were used as extras, and many of the images we're showing are from Janet Latendry, who was a 13-year-old who played parts in the movie along with other members of her family. Why would one decide to create a film, or at least in part, in a small little town such as Smith? Well, it was the region where Olive grew up as one of the Goodwin family. They operated a stopping house along the Peace River Trail between Smith and Athabasca known as Tomato Creek. That trail today is a multi-use trail. So I'm going to add in here that an archaeology team found an oxbow point at Tomato Creek several years ago that dates the trail to over 3,500 years old. At the time, Moose Portage would have been the Goodwin's closest community, and the old post office still stands in the middle of a farmer's field today, which is private property. So if you ever find yourself in the area, take pictures from the road. Anyways, the Goodwin's can be found in the history across northern Alberta and all of and her biography, Silence of the North, is only one of various accounts of this pioneering family. So tomorrow's question is, which freighter and bootlegger used nuns to hide his contraband? Was it A, Baldy Red, B, One-Eyed Willie, or C, Jed Clampett? Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Enjoy!